What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where drunk minds be forward thoughts. Bitch, what the fuck is up? What? We in a new set! This is so cute in here. Yes, so y'all, I know y'all have been waiting. We have been talking about this for like, I feel like it's been over a year we've been talking about we're gonna get a new set. Yeah, it's and been we're gonna a be in it. It's been a long time, but we are finally in the new set. I hope y'all love it. It's so cute in here. Like, it's so much detail and stuff. It's a lot the, of detail. It was definitely a labor of love. A labor of love. And shout out to Shay from Laveau Design. She hooked everything up. It was a super Super easy process, amazing. So shout out to our girl. Yes. Obviously, you thank you, girl. Yes. I'm giving a ho ho ho. You know, well, that's per usual. Both of you know what I'm saying. We're gonna get now with the kit down. Okay, so anyways, um, y'all see the new set. This is y'all's Christmas gift. Y'all know we always come with a good gift, but we got another gift for them. We do. This is something that y'all have been asking for for a very long time. Y'all know we are full of surprises. So, mind you, we love these girls. These are our hey. friends. And we've had them I'm both excited. on the show. I'm so excited. We're never together. We've exactly. never, honestly, we've never had more than one person on the show at one time because we was shooting in the closet, bitch. We was <laughs> we, tight as fuck. Tight as fuck, hot as fuck. This is the first time I've ever walked in on a poor ma mindset and I was shivering, bitch. Mm -hmm. I said, I got room to be cold. Oh, it's real breezy. It's, girl, I felt a breeze, bitch. My nipples hard. I said, what? The upgrades. So anyways, when we upgrade our room, you know, we upgrade the guests, period. Hey. So we have a special guest today. Y'all give it up for Kiki and Medina from Cocktail. Hey. Come on, hey. 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 I brought you guys some gifts. Oh, Who the tips you. and condoms? Yes. The true Atlanta hey. way. Yes! You can. Have a seat, ladies. Have a yeah, seat. Some little cookies. Hello, love fortune cookie. Open it when you get by yourself. Well, let me say this, Medin. I'm a lady. I don't smoke hooks anymore. You don't? I do not smoke hooks anymore. <laughs> but I appreciate the hookah tip. Just I in love case. it. Keep me in your purse one. for when I come and I forget. Oh, my look, I'm keeping my back up. See, when <laughs> you hang around women, you know you got to bring uh, tampons, pads, you know, mm -hmm. BC powder. Kiki need hookah tips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so first, we got to get y'all pulled up. So, oh, yes. uh, look, we got a little bar now. Oh, it is oh, very classy. Cool. Big bag in the building. We got oh. some drinks for you, ladies. Oh, Thank you. Do we need to tip him? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you can, but he ain't looking for money, Chad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So we have a lot to talk about. First of all, mm -hmm. we have a lot of ground that we have to cover. Okay. Okay. First things first. We all just came from Houston. Mm -hmm. Y'all had an amazing live show. Amazing. Thank y'all. I have been to about 35 cocktails live shows and they only had 30, bitch. <laughs> Just to give y'all an idea. And when I tell y'all, this was probably my favorite show to date that y'all have done. That means yeah. so much it was because my Houston was a lot. Houston is near and dear to both of us. And mm -hmm. so we poured so much into the production, into mm -hmm. the content. And we never get to see what it looks like for real. So right. it, it feels great getting that feedback from y'all. Yeah. yeah. Shows, baby. The choreography. Okay. The outfit. Yeah. It was dancing. If you have never been to a cocktail show, please understand we put on a performance. Literally. We, we really wish we could do what Beyonce does, but we can't. So we just throw a little <laughs> eight count in there every now. Yeah. I'm still recovering, obviously, I my voice. Like I am, too. I think we all still recovering. We had a time last night. We did. Okay. And well, let me say this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I hate to say this. Maybe I'm a little biased, but me and Drea were definitely best dressed. I, our outfits <laughs> ate. We ate the girls up. Y'all did have some I, good we outfits. We did what needed to be done. I mean, Y'all stayed in character. I was we about to did. say, Lex was mm -hmm. acting like she couldn't read because her pimp wouldn't let her. And <laughs> Big Daddy Drea was the Big pimp. Big Daddy Drea said, Thank you, Daddy, for letting me come up here and answer this question. <laughs> she was going to get smacked up. <laughs> It is, because she's hit me in real life before. <laughs> Baby, we was not in character, bitch. Ooh. OK, so speaking of arguments and things like that, mm -hmm. I want to say something, because for a while, you know, I don't want to say we were arguing. But you know, me and Medina had a little, it wasn't beef. It was like, 
tofu. It was like, um, yeah, it was like a vegan, it was a Beyond Meat Impossible. burger. Impossible yes, burger. It was Beyond. But you know what it was? It was just a bunch of like miscommunication. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's what we were talking about before, you know, we started rolling. I was like, I'm so happy we get to finally have these moments. You know right. what I'm saying? Because yeah. mm-hmm. a lot of times people, especially us being in the same space, you know, they like to compare and pit women against each other. Yeah. Like, All the time. moments like these don't happen a lot. Yes. So I'm just really happy that we... It was a rough patch in our friendship. And I only feel like it was stemming from y'all... I don't know if y'all know this, but there was once upon a time during the pandemic, everybody was trying to make dreams come true, and we tried to do a reality show we for did. podcasters. We and did. That's where uh, the Beyond Meat It did. Kind of Remember, I was on crutches. It oh was a lot. It's when it all started. It's when it all started. If that footage ever emerges on a Patreon of some sort, which it won't, but you guys would <laughs> really... Y'all would be like, damn, this was going to be lit, because it was going to be lit until it was... It was a lot. <laughs> it was, was a lot. so much, and I was just like, What did we call that night? We have a name for the it. The green I'm screen gonna... night. The green screen we night. We had the green screen in my living room. Things started to take a turn for the worse. It was the alcohol. It, it was, was the, the alcohol. alcohol, because I had also been baking little mini pound cakes. I had yeah. cooked food. And I was trying to feed the big... Yeah. It was a yeah. night full of love, but somehow... <laughs> we did confessionals in the same room with yeah. each other. Oh, my gosh. We it thought was it was going to be a parody, but then I think everybody forgot about the parody part. Everybody like, bitch, what? What did you say? Wait till it's my turn. Yep. <laughs> but wait, I'm sorry. Yes. Let me say how Medina said, because I will never forget this. But wait, tell them the premise. The premise of the oh, show was oh, we're she's all trying to get her. <laughs> but Look, we are all Snow family members. Yeah, yeah. That was the uh, premise. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Eskimo sisters. Eskimo, Eskimo sisters. sisters. I said snow, snow family. family. I, was like, snow family. I said, what? Why are y'all confused? That's a different type of snow. Ooh, uh-uh. <laughs> anyway, yeah. no, but, um, so we were supposed to be being, like, shady and being uh-huh. cute. Medina now, Medina went up there talking shit, and it was okay, because it was funny, and we knew, but Medina was like, yeah, I can't keep uh, none of the niggas I fuck with, because Lex come along with them orangutan titties. I said, I said, I said that? You said orangutan. You See, did. that's when the alcohol had really... Uh, orangutan yeah. is wild. Uh, hmm. I said, Medina, that came from my heart. <laughs> you was holding on to that. I said, Holding in for two years. But uh-huh. then I got mad because remember Dre was like, and Medina be looking cheap. Ooh. And then I was like, ooh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lie. Y'all will never uh-huh. see it. What I will yes. say, we all have coordinated today very nicely. Okay. Well, the reds and the whites. <laughs> the reds and the whites. Mariah. Her we look like Destiny's Child and Mariah is doing a feature yes. on this. The there we go. Album. And let me just say, Mm. I love the fact, just the growth that we Mm -hmm. all have had. Because I feel like when we first met y'all, it was like when we just had started out. Uh And just to see where all of us have come down, like y'all are going on tour next year. We're going on tour next year. Uh Y'all are the first guests in our new set. This is amazing. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I, I feel, feel like everything is just coming for us. We had to pop it off. Yeah. Yeah, we had to pop it off with y'all because I feel like everything is coming, you know, full circle. It so is. we love this moment. Shout out to me and Medine <laughs> for getting rid of our our, t- our impossible burger. <laughs> we ate I'm that glad shit. I'm glad y'all did. Because <laughs> oh, I love Medine. Because me and Vivi, like, we love you. <laughs> so, we're fine over here. <laughs> what's, what's, what's tea? What's new? Because we haven't. Oh, we filmed last week. We did. So what's tea? What's new with y'all? What y'all got going on? What's new in life? Well, you know, we was just talking about, we was in Houston this past weekend. Yep. Having a motherfucking ball. We oh did have a ball. I y'all. had too much fun. That many consecutive days. That y'all. many days. I don't know how y'all went to I brunch on Sunday. Oh, I was lit. I My hands. We were lit. Okay. Let me tell you something. I went out for cocktails that uh-huh. night. I fucked up. Woke up for brunch. Went to Chapman Kirby all day. Then I left and sucked a mean dick. Ooh. I'm a good eater, huh? Meanwhile, I was laying in the bed on Sunday, Putin and farting, because it was a lot of moisture down there. What? Because we had woke up and had morning sex, and he was eating my pussy a little Not bit. Not that pussy was And it got real human, and then we took a nap, a mean nap. When well, you text me, like, you come in? I was like, I'm coming. We laid back she down, I lying. snatched my wig off, and I just did a little toot, and it sounded like a clap. So you fart in front of your... I don't normally do it. It eased out. out. Were you in bed? And I was wondering... I was, but I was like, did he hear it? Did he feel it? Because it was on his knee. It was probably like a little... Yeah, and then I kind of braised the... You know, I waved the covers, and it didn't have no smell, but it was like... Now, you better stop that. You know what they did last time when you was talking about oh shit and farting? Oh, y'all remember that video of that man when he was, like, farting? Shitting and farting. No. <laughs> no, he was, he was, I thought he was saying um, something else. That's what he was saying? I can't remember what he said. 
He said squirting and farting. Oh, yeah. Squirting and farting. They go together. It's a lot they of do. moisture down there. It's a little hurricane. I am Meanwhile, while your pussy is Putin, she's telling me that she's on the way to the club. We done been to several bars. Just lying. Okay? Just lying. So the DJ is shouting us both out because it's the DJ from our show. Oh, Lord. And so he keeps getting us shots. And of course, I'm not going to waste no alcohol. Was my baby. I was Medina. Yeah, me and Lex was... He said, shout out to Kiki Medina. I was like, shout out, shout out. <laughs> We I, taking these shots. I tried. I did oh, try, but you I was. You did what? You did I come. tried. To In your come. mind. It was fun. Houston was amazing. Shout out to all of the fans and listeners. And really, Lex and Dre, thank you guys so much for the support. Oh, yes. of course. So we much. always going to pop out. Oh. And you know what else? My best friend Thomas came to help us for the show the weekend, right? Mm. So I was telling him I had hit up one of my guy friends out there, and he was like, you know what's funny about the house you're staying at? Because I stayed in an Airbnb. Um, he was like, I've been there before. And I'm thinking, what you been here for? Because you live in Houston. And then I'm talking to Thomas about it. He was like, one of my girlfriends been here before, too. Let me find out it was a whorehouse. I said, it probably was. This the house. We said it's the right one, bitch. <laughs> it we were like the been. right one. Oh, is very... Is very very uh, strong. Pr- that's why that was our theme. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, Kiki, have we talked about? Because you know, Kiki has a character on cocktails called Voodoo Dick. Oh yeah. Have we talked about this before? Did we talk about that? I don't think that? we talked about it on here. Okay, so tell them, a, give them a brief rundown about Voodoo Dick, and I'll tell my history, and we can talk about how we are Eskimo sisters. How we related? Well. How we related? Y'all, Voodoo Dick is so fucking fine. Okay, so <laughs> I met him. I actually met him through one of Medina's ex boyfriends. Mm-hmm decades ago and um we've just been fucking around for years and years and years so a couple years ago we were in houston for somebody else's podcast you and i were in a story together and he was like how do you know her i was like oh this is my friend Mm -hmm. and he was like oh i know her too i already knew what that (laughs) means because he's the type of nigga that you know and he knows one reason he knows people yeah i I hate to say this because i don't want to ever minimize somebody down to just their genitals Mm -hmm. but But for him they're they're I was very young when I had them, but from what I remember, they were very good. Still good. And, yeah, and so, <laughs> for me, but it's like, he's the type of person, like, if he knows somebody, mm-hmm. it's because he it's dicking them he down. Was, exactly. Well, I know him because he knew my ex-boyfriend. When he said, I was putting and I remember, Yeah. I remember the ex, because I had met him. I had met that. He did me so dirty. His, his dick was the good. Ex-boyfriend. It was good, but he, he did like a Tiger Woods cheat. I mean, I was crying and oh, sad. And shit. then he worked for T-Mobile at the time, and then they called me talking about he not coming to work because he's talking about the breakup. And I was like, well, ask him what he did. I am weak. So they both had good dick. Yeah. So this yeah. they used to live together. So they was just slanging good dick It was around. a whorehouse. It was a whorehouse. And then they yeah. were, and they low key kind of look alike. A little bit. Yeah. They like mine ain't that cute. Well no, I'll say this. They, <laughs> If you just, I like ugly niggas. <laughs> well, if you describe them on paper, light tall, skin, light tall, skin. muscular. Tattoos. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But y'all are still fine, right? Yeah. Yes. You know what's crazy? I'll tell you something about him, though. Voodoo Dick taught me a really, really good lesson. One time I went over there and I had, mind you y'all, I was like 22, you know, mm-hmm. this is a long time ago. And I remember I had like two nails broken and my feet weren't done. And he was like, he said something along the lines of, I'm going to give you some dick tonight, but don't come over here like this no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got him. I mean, I was yeah, young. I was struggling in college. I swear, have, but whenever you have a man point things out like that to you, it kind of like have a, but you have a learning moment. Yeah. I one time was out with a guy and I went to go grab the door and he was like, all right, Hulk. <laughs> and, I was like, and I was like, wait, what? And he was like, mm-hmm. why? Are, how many men you been out with that you've been opening up doors? And I was embarrassed. Right. I was like, it's always oh. embarrassing. He was like, you don't look like, like the type of woman that would allow people to do that. And I was like, well, Dre said I look cheap on our reality show. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm behaving this way. Right, and I, but I think for me, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. When I was younger, I didn't get my feet done in the winter because I was like, oh, I'm always wearing sneakers and boots anyway. But and I'm on a budget. And then I was on a budget, but <laughs> I swear to y'all, ever since then, I have not missed an appointment every two weeks. These toes is done, baby. They better be. So shout out to Voodoo Dick for a very important learned lesson. Well, like we learned some other lessons, but mm. that was a good one too. Shout out to Voodoo Dick. Yeah. My Eskimo sister. Now, I'm not going to tell y'all why me and Cream Medine, y'all know that's the old nickname we oh, gave yeah, her. Oh, yeah, y'all sisters. We, oh, well, we we're sisters. not talking about that because it is uh, not worthy of a conversation. Not. I was embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I woke up like, now, why did I? Man like that. He going to watch this shit and be like, now, why am I? Did <laughs> he <laughs> not know? Um, I don't 
think so. I guess he might know, though. But he... honestly, even if he does, it's not about him. It's more so about, like, it's just weird. The dick. <laughs> it was bad. It was, I woke up. It made it bad. It made it bad because, like, I don't like when you think you just dick somebody. I woke up, he was in my fridge. He, I mean, I was like, it, what, the dick wasn't good. He's time to go home. Wow. And she had to go to work, and he was like, I'm just going to stay and sleep a little bit because, you know, you know, I was up late. And I was just like, this oh is goodness. really... Only for premium dick. That's not, premium hey, dick Let me tell you package. what else happened. Uh, I'm not going to put out there who it was because, obviously, she doesn't... I'm, I'm just not going to do that. Look, the wine hit me, y'all. <laughs> but I was very close with somebody at one point, and he started fucking her. It was oh, just, yeah, he did. And it was just very fucking weird. And it was like, you know how, and Medina knows how he is. He's a love bomber. Mm -hmm. When he first mm -hmm. meets you, literally, he'll you tell you. You think you're about to be wifed up. Oh, no, he's definitely much like, I love you. Oh, I want to be with you. It's very much giving that. So when Red she flag. met him, she was like, oh, my gosh, I met this guy. And she's like telling me all this stuff. I was like, oh, my God, I'm happy for you. I'm like, well, let me see. I said, oh, hell to the no, no, no. It's crazy. And this was during the time that me and Medina was eating our Impossible Burger, so I couldn't even call you a tea, bitch. <laughs> I couldn't even give you the tea, bitch. And you and the girl was real close at the time. Really close at the time. Awkward, awkward because it was like, bitch, I know she ain't just whip out a picture at it. And then yeah. even when he circles back around on you, oh, he's, still, he he's still acting like he wants to wipe you up. Nigga. You don't have to do that. Tour with that little baby rapper and call it a day. Now see, this is what we not gonna see? do, Medina. We about How much this the first day in the set. We about to get canceled, bitch. My my keep on. <laughs> I'm not gonna get canceled by him. <laughs> I keep trying to rub my titty to keep mine up. You might need a new stick. I need to get a new stick. <laughs> I am in the spirit of giving. So I wanted to get on here and let y'all know about the exciting giveaways that I have coming up for Mimi's Beauty Collection. I am going to be giving out a $250 gift card. All you have to do is make a purchase of $50 or more before Christmas Day. And I will be announcing the winner on Christmas and you will qualify, automatically qualify for a $250 Visa gift card. Also, we have some new products coming out in the next few weeks. We have some matte liquid lipsticks, some more lip glosses, and a new liner coming out. So, two lucky winners will also qualify to get the whole entire Muse Beauty set. So, that's including all of the old products and the new products for free, as long as you make a $50 purchase or more before Christmas. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know it's that season of gift giving, and Etsy.com is the perfect place for you. They have everything from fashion, decor, to personalized gifts, and everything for people with, uh, within all budgets. Yes, and the favorite thing about it is these are personalized things. These are coming directly mm -hmm. from small businesses. So anything that you purchase is supporting a small business. Right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Etsy.com, and if you are a new member of Etsy, all you have to do is use the code MARY10, that's M-E-R-R-Y-1-0 at checkout on your first purchase and you'll get 10% off up to $50. Mm -hmm. So make sure you go to Etsy.com and get your special personalized gift today. New to Etsy, use code MARY10, that's M-E-R-R-Y-1-0 at checkout for 10% off of your first purchase. That's MARY10, maximum value of $50. Offer ends December 31st, 2022. See terms at Etsy.com slash terms. For gifts of all kind, Etsy has it. Shop Etsy.com. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we are always going to tell y'all about BetterHelp.com. I feel like therapy is something that everybody should try at least once. BetterHelp has connected over 3 million people with licensed therapists. It's convenient and accessible anywhere, 100% online. Yes, and with the weather changing and with the holidays coming up, seasonal depression is so real for so many people. And so BetterHelp makes it super easy for you to get help and talk to a therapist when you need to. They make it easy to change therapists. It's also super affordable. Yes, and the best part about it is that you do this all from the comfort of your own home. Mm -hmm. So you're not waiting for an appointment or being in the waiting room all day. So what you're going to do is you're going to go 
to betterhelp.com backslash poor minds and get 10% off of your first month. Learn more and save 10% off of your first month at betterhelp.com slash poor minds. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash poor minds. Get y'all some therapy. Yeah, so I think for me, that little situation with our little Eskimo sisters, how we related, we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> we just gonna leave that in the motherfucking dust. Okay, so obviously we've been powwowing for a long time. Mm-hmm. Let's get into these little topics, Drea, okay? Yes, it's time to get into these topics. So y'all know Christmas is coming up. It's my favorite time of the year. Is it? It is, you know. Oh, I know why. Why? Because you about to give up, bitch. <laughs> you get a lot of gifts. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get a few. I feel like this, <laughs> at this age, it's not about the amount of gifts that you get, it's, it's the quality of the gifts. The quality of the gifts, yeah. yeah. Agreed, agreed. I like, at this age, I want a gift that's like useful to me. Mm-hmm. Like, whenever I got my, my luggage from Big Papa last year, that was like... Do you like to give, uh, submit a list to the, whoever's buying you a gift? Or do you like for, you just want to be like, hey, let's just like get each other what we think? No. No, because I'm not going to like that shit. You need oh. to know exactly what yeah. I want. <laughs> I need to know exactly what I'm getting, so I know exactly what to get you. See, I yeah. like to do it the other way You around. do? You like mm-hmm. to be surprised? I like it to be like, a, I want to surprise you, and I want you to surprise me, because for me, I'm like, let's see how well we know each other. Okay, so I'm not trying to play games with you. What if you be mad as fuck because this nigga bought you some socks? I'm not going to be right. mad. Okay. Oh, no, I'm I would be mad. You're a good one. Man, you are. Because it's, just, it's crazy. It's because the cameras are rolling. You know you that be mad. Really well, I'm not submitting a gift, and I'm hoping that you know. I don't even wear socks. I don't have socks on now. So, <laughs> If you give me socks, you don't know me. Now we gotta break up. Okay, yeah. well, let me ask you this. Because you, you know, know I don't so, wear them. You know I don't like socks. Mm-hmm. How would you feel if somebody got you like a gift basket full of like your favorite wines? But then you spent like you got them like a Rolex or something. How would you feel? That's what I'm saying. Well, see, I, even still, if we're talking about Christmas, yes, we're talking about Christmas. It's Christmas it time. It is bitch. Christmas. Ho ho ho. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I still think it would be fine because I feel like I'm at a point now where it's like. I wouldn't be, if I was still like going on dates because I was actually hungry and needed you to take me to these places, okay. I think I would feel some type of way. But now it's like, if I felt like I could get you this, I'm just flexing at this point. Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? Not I just want you off. to know. I got, and if you got me a basket of wine, I'm just like, that's sweet. It's sweet. It's about, it's the bitch, thought that counts. sweet as that Moscato, bitch. Don't okay. have a fucking play with me, It's home. the thought that counts. And there better not be with Moscato. No Moscato with the basket. <laughs> now, I don't drink Moscato. Oh, Rolex and wine is just so different. I feel you on doing what you do doing on that. Well, because you're no. doing what you want to do. I'm not getting the gift based on and what I think you're getting gonna, me. But my feelings are going to be hurt because you <laughs> just wanted to get me wine. Yeah. yeah and it, it needs am. to be a little equal, I'm right? basing my gift off of what I'm not showing. And, I, and that's for anybody. It's just not... I mean, it's different for, like, my family. Mm-hmm. Like, my sister, I'm going to get her whatever she wants. But my sister gives me good gifts. Like, my nephew, mm-hmm. of course, he's eight. But mm-hmm. when he turns 16, he's going to have to run it up. Anyway, but, like, <laughs> but like me work. and Dre, bitch, if I spend $2,000 on you, I want a $2,000 gift. But I also think you got to look at who you're dealing with. I don't, the, the person that, the man that I'm dealing with now, I don't foresee him getting me a basket of wine. Right. Okay. Yeah. I don't even have wine in the house. Right. Like, but because that, right. you don't expect that, you would be disappointed if he did that. I'm not going to say that I would be disappointed to the fact where I would be, I'm going to throw a fit and now not the rest fit, of the but day. Be disappointed. I don't know if he would know that I'm disappointed though because it, at the end of the day, it is, it, this is Christmas. Let's mm. just enjoy each other's time. And that, and I will, I agree with you on that. I do feel like. <laughs> at Christmas, me, 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 Christmas is ruined. I'm crying because me and Kiki made each other. No, that sounds really good. I agree with Medina on it. He's not getting me a basket of wine. I feel like birthdays, Christmases, all these holidays have strayed away from what they're really about. Because now it's like bitches be getting Bentleys and Islands and shit. It's like, okay, <laughs> not not I'm telling and you. I need all my things. And I, and I agree with that. And that is nothing's uh, wrong with that, but that's not what exactly the holiday is about. Because you get I the agree. Bentley and the Island and he not even delivering it to you. His assistant is and he don't even like you for real. Yeah, I still want well, the, rom- the romance with it. Yeah. You know, I still need I'll a little bit of romance. Island, if it's but... like Valentine's Day or my birthday. But Christmas is about like spending time together. So Right. If you get like a basket of Rolexes delivered to my house, am I gonna be happy? Yes, but Hell I still yeah. want you to be there with the Rolex. Exactly. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not big on gifts. Period. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not big too. on them. I'll get myself stuff, but it's uh-huh. like if you do get me something, well, don't make it 
that. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, could, you could put a little bit more thought into it, especially because I'm not presenting you with those requirements and you do know me and you probably know what I've done for you and mm -hmm. how I treat you and all of that because it is like that. When we were talking earlier and I was talking about just like family, not even niggas, but family and the gift giving stuff and how I am. I like getting gifts for people, but it yeah. is frustrating when people are acting ungrateful mm -hmm. and like they're just supposed to get stuff. But with like, your man, I feel like if you feel that intense about it, intense I about also, a gift? about like you're so like, it's like you better be getting me what I want. I also feel like it's your job to make sure he knows that. Like, right. don't be a I bitch. Agree. Just like, surprise me if you really don't want a surprise. Now you do, but that's why I said I feel like you need you to, I don't want to let you know what I want. Like, I no, don't try things. to surprise me. This is what that's I want. Okay. If you can't get exactly that, get this. something similar. At least you know what realm to stay in. So let's say he's like, I can't wings. get exactly that. And let's say you are like, I want a Rolex. Okay. But he's like, I can't get exactly that. So he gets you a Michael Kors watch. Oh. Paul? It's, still, it's still a watch. Oh, but that's not in the same, like, realm. Not, exactly. well, let's, okay, let's, right. say he, no. let's say he got on Pinterest and then he okay. had someone make a Rolex. Girl! But it's, girl. Well, what is the same? Like, you know, who you know that making Rolex? He's like, she with the thought that he, And so he put a little R in it, an R and a D for, for Rolex Andrea. Deal with no nigga who think it's okay to buy me some fake shit. So what's in the same realm as that? I feel like if I sent you a Rolex and you bought me a bracelet. Yeah. A regular bracelet. Not like a Cartier. A, no, a like, a, like a Cartier bracelet. Okay. You know, somebody nice something nice. Yeah. Like something in the same realm. Okay. Okay. You know, okay. it don't have to be as this. expensive, but. Now, are you getting him a gift that's as that's expensive? Yes. So well, if you ask a man for a gift that's worth like, I don't know, let's say $3,000, mm -hmm. are you going to return that on Christmas? We're talking about Christmas only. Right. Are you returning him and giving him a $3,000 gift? Yeah, oh, I feel yeah. like you should. Yeah. If you asking for stuff like that, you should reciprocate the energy. And that's why I, I say agree. I think it should be comparable and I would feel bad if I did all of this for you and then you hit me with a basket mm -hmm. that I know you regifted. Mm -hmm. Right. From your grandma house. See, now y'all got me nervous because <laughs> I didn't I didn't submit a list. Like I was just like, let's It just ain't like, too late to submit one little gift. Well, so like, just we see don't see where this goes. Exactly. Yeah. We are also all single, so please don't listen do, to do us. what you do. You got okay. somebody. Yeah, you got a man. You got that's a good man, Savannah. <laughs> you gonna be back outside with us looking for a bitch. Oh, we go back outside. <laughs> this ghetto over here. It's ghetto yeah. and it's nasty. It's and it's expensive. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like on Christmas, I'm not dropping three racks on Christmas. It's already a lot. We're traveling to meet each other's families. We're getting mm. hotels, we're getting flights. It's a lot. So like, not that I'm gonna be cheap with his gift. I got him a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what he's getting me. He's really excited about whatever he has right. purchased. Well, I can't like, wait to see. I still hope that it is But y'all still spend the money me. and spending the time, everything mm -hmm. that you want. Cause I feel like that's what Christmas is about. It's right. spending time Now birthdays and Valentine's Day, now that is a little different. Yeah. I, do oh, what, okay. I want what I want <laughs> on Valentine's Day. Okay. Like, I've been that busting it sense. open. I got good pussy. You need to pay for it. I know that's Valentine's right. Day well, and my birthday. For nothing well, now. that's about my booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> wrong hole, bitch. Wrong, wrong hole. hole. We need to get to the right topic. So well, the topic that we're actually <laughs> talking about is if you're dating some. Now, does your man have kids? No, he does not God. have kids. Ooh. Okay. So if you're dating someone with kids, mm -hmm. are you should you get your booze kid Christmas gifts? Are they nice to me? I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It does matter. It doesn't matter. But they're absolutely <laughs> babies, y'all. They're, they're babies. babies. First of all, can't be no baby because that was too close together. It well, needs I to mean, be six. Is still a baby. Yeah, I, eight is still is a baby. Jackson, I call him my baby. Huh? How old is the child respectful, or is he like, you know, my mama? Because what they used to tell the kids, you getting cold for Christmas. <gasps> that is me. And, but this is also <laughs> why so I, I have made it my decision. And people always get mad. I'm not. I can't date people with kids because mm. I don't. I don't want to. Why do people get mad? Because a lot of people have kids. Well, oh well. And, and so, they get mad because you don't want to date people with kids. Because I don't want to date people like, like But you don't yeah. have kids, so that's fair to say. I don't have kids. Right. I have dated men with kids. I didn't right. get anybody's child a gift. Oh no, I'm lying. I got somebody's baby a gift card to uh, GameStop. Okay, and that was nice. nice. It was very nice. And it's something nice. small. It's not mm -hmm. like I not feel a PS5. Like this, if I'm around your child. Because obviously, if you haven't brought me around your child, you don't take me serious. So there's no need for me to play stepmom. Mm -hmm. So if I've been around your child mm -hmm. enough and like we kind of have, whether she's mean or he's mean to mm -hmm. me or not, mm -hmm. I will feel like, okay, I'm around them enough. I'll get them a little, a little one, so you gonna get a teddy bear, bitch. <laughs> I mean, you got, and you 
it's also have to be careful with stuff like that because it's like I if I'm a little cash out. If I'm sending your baby stuff, that means that in my mind, I think we're going to the next level. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't need to even be around your child if we're not mm-hmm. going to the next level. And I am very shocked at how many people be like, I want you to be my son. Why? That has been my yeah, experience. People are always I like that. It's so, so weird. Many guys, kids, and I it's like I know it's not serious. A lot. Yeah. I shouldn't be meeting these little niggas. Are you Don't trying to make me baby and you know what's but crazy? See, but that's this why is what the, I think people get, I'm sorry, this is what I think people get misconstrued, especially men. They be thinking that we feel special when we meet their mom or their kids. I don't want, I don't, if I'm not even taking you seriously, please don't bring me around your children. Please don't. Yeah. Now, if it's somebody I'm seriously dating, like, I don't mind, I want to meet your kids. But right. Men, please stop introducing women to your, your kids thinking that they're going to be impressed by that. Like, oh, he love me, girl. It, I, it's not cute. I'm more impressed by if you want me to meet their mother first. Hello? I'm more impressed by that. Hello? That's, like, talk about that's more it. serious. I'm also yeah. not, like, I don't want to meet your kids and not know if their mom is okay with this. Does she know? Yeah. Or they're like, oh, please don't Because I think about it. this, like, my, I mean, I don't have kids, obviously, but I think about my nephews and, like, especially my, the little one. Like, Jackson, mm-hmm. he's eight. He can talk. He mm-hmm. can tell me. He can tell auntie what's going on. The little one, not so much. So if something happened and my sister and my brother-in-law split up and he started dating someone else, bitch, I want to know who my nephew is around. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like that's not... They don't make a effort to do that a lot of the time. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel like I definitely gotta fuck with you the long way to buy your child a gift for Christmas. Mm. Yeah, because like, like I don't, I don't dated a few niggas who they got kids and I ain't Most buy. Most of them around kids. their kids though. Yes, yeah, so I done met yeah. that kid before, but like just because I met you, that doesn't mean that I'm like around you all She's the like, time. That doesn't mean that we. That doesn't mean that we together. built a bond. Right, no, you know, I, I might have met you one or two times. We was at Chuck E. Cheese. Everybody was there. It was a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> it was a birthday party. Oh, well, like, but no, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I've been around you a few times and it's not really a bond there, I feel like it's whatever. Yeah. But if, like, I'm around you, mm. you know, we're at the house cooking Sunday dinners together, I'm helping you with your homework. Oh, well, yeah. Absolutely. You get well, I mean, because essentially, at that point, you a stepmama. Mm. Yeah. If it's that far, if you cooking but Sunday dinner for the whole family. Yeah. Let's keep it 100. Where am I getting? Right. <laughs> Little niggas. Did you make me a card or something? Where am I getting? Where the fuck am I getting? Because how was you going to eat dinner? Sometimes. Where am I getting? Turkey you, you was going to be eating McDonald's. Hold on. Because you said that it's like, at this point, you're a stepmom. But let's not say that. Because sometimes these niggas just be using these women for glorified babysitters. That is true. You so, can't use me for that. I'm you can't say. use me for that neither because I'm not babysitting your kids. I'm not saying like us, but I, we, we've seen it. A lot I've of these women just be, yeah. they be fucking with because they're like, oh, she going to come and watch my kids. And they be outside. Mm-hmm. Right. If you outside, I've said this before on Poor Minds, and I will say it again. If you outside, what the fuck? make you think I don't want to be outside with you. Period. Why do you think you about to be frolicking in these streets? Not frolicking. Frolicking. You going to be frolicking in these streets and you think I'm going to be... through the streets. <laughs> right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. We together. Right there. 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 Kids. So and you can not baby see yours. yours. Because that, and that go. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And one thing about me, I hate wasting money, hun. Right. And I have had a ton of websites and subscription services that I have been subscribed to, and I had no idea I was wasting money. Like, I didn't even know it was still coming off of my account. Mm-hmm. And that's the perfect thing about Rocket Money. Mm-hmm. Rocket Money has all your subscriptions in one place so you can see what you're being charged. If you're not using a service, you can cancel it. Because you know how these places get you. They make it hard to find the cancel button. Mm-hmm. It's very easy to cancel whatever subscription you're not using. Make sure you aren't getting double charged. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to rocketmoney.com slash poor minds. That's rocketmoney.com slash poor minds. All your subscriptions in one place making canceling it easy, making sure you keeping up track with your money, all that good stuff. So go to rocketmoney.com slash poor minds. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash poor minds. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash poor minds. Cancel your unnecessary subscriptions right now at rocketmoney.com slash poor minds. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. 
And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know one thing about me is I gain weight during the holidays. So right. Green Chef is the perfect program I use to make sure I'm eating healthy and staying on track with my fitness goals. Right, and they have so many options like vegan, paleo, gluten-free. Yes, and now they have their festive fare where you get premium proteins and organic produce. And they have the fast and fit where you can choose meals that are under 700 calories that are ready in under 25 minutes. And I had the lemon Dijon salmon. You know I love me a little mean salmon. And it was yes. so good. Super healthy and everything tasted mm -hmm. very fresh. Make sure you go to greenshift.com slash poorminds599 and use code poorminds599 to get $5.99 per meal on your first box. And your first box ships for free. Now that's a steal, huh? Period. That's greenchef.com slash poorminds599 and use code poorminds599. Welcome to the next topic. Mm -mm. That goes I don't into like the that. Next topic that we're going to talk about today because I feel like that goes into women bending over. And we're and I'm saying women because some men do this too, but we're women. I just mm -hmm. like to, you know, you got to write it in fine print for that. Yes. Okay. I mean, they know they we women. Women will bend over backwards. And we need to be released from the shackles of men's acceptance. Mm -hmm. That is really what it comes down to because you're trying to make yourself seem like I'm a wifey, I'm girlfriend material. He's telling you to stay home with the kids. Bitch, you don't even like kids. Mm -hmm. You in the kitchen scrambling, looking up a classy based recipe. <laughs> Bitch, you can't even cook. Talking about, oh, I love to cook. Bitch, you don't burn the roux. No. The roux is burnt. The gumbo and is now you gotta start over. Now you gotta start over. The well, burnt the biscuits, everything. A lot of women try to mold themselves into what they think the man that they want wants to be. Mm -hmm. This is like. I seen what's his name talking about this finesse mm -hmm. because I seen this go viral a lot. Men talking about they hate birthday makeup. Like when women, you oh, know, I didn't see that. Like all the glitter, and the yes, with the glitter, and the it drew me a lot. Now, personally, for me, I think it's getting in 2013. Sometimes it do be a lot. I'm like, why are the eyebrows so plastered? Mm -hmm. I hate thick eyebrows. I hate it, y'all. And a, a picture popped up. You know how your iPhone will show you old pictures? My makeup terrible. You my iPhone reminds me how ugly yeah. I was. Mm -hmm. I had Lego blocks on my face. It was so fucking bad. But oh, them throwback pics gonna ooh, humble you. Throw, but I'll say this. Now, <laughs> women, of course, we're not wearing makeup and we don't do a lot of things for men. So this is not the group of women that I'm talking to. But a lot of times I feel like a lot of girls are performing because they think that this is what men are gonna like. Oh, I can oh, be absolutely. sexy, fully clothed, and y'all are dressed and half naked, and I look just as good as you. And it's no, like, girl, don't. shut the fuck up and show them titties, bitch. You gonna get these swimsuit pee. And you gonna get the dark Samar booty. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> that dark the little dark part at the bottom. The little mm -hmm. dark part. It, it might be out sometimes. You know it's what annoying. Saying? To me, when people try to tell you how to be, I can only be me. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be me. And whatever man comes along or no man, I need to be okay with me. And if right. he's not okay with it, I'm just gonna wake up one day and be mad and resent this person. Then I'm gonna end up on Snap. Right. Hello. This is not why I'm like, like I haven't been that woman oh, before, or that have. girl before. And it's because I feel like it takes like a lot of um, trial and error. Mm. Because I know that I I put in my my uh, descript my bio on Instagram. I just took it off because I got a nigga now. But it said serial Ooh. dater. Like mm. I've dated a lot of men. I feel like a lot of my life and a lot of women's life. Like we're talking mm. about, it's been like catered to men. Like mm, the kids, yes. like I w I do want you to like me. I'm not gonna lie. I want a man. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be lonely. But I want to have kids. I want a family. And so making myself seem more uh, wifey like. But right. then, like I said, trial and error. It's like that doesn't actually work. It's like, are you happy? I want a real honest, truthful relationship. Because but do you feel like that's because of like how we were raised, like in societal standards raised, make us society. feel that way? I yeah. Think it's women seeing their moms yeah. be like yep. the backbone Somebody in else. the household. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. It's like the way the way society views women is so obsolete. Things have changed like so much, like our roles in the house, our roles just in society, period. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hate to be that person, but we have a black woman as vice president right now. Mm -hmm. But y'all are still on her. this, uh, what they call them, the beaver cleaver type, where the woman got to be at home with a full meal cooked. Yeah. It, it, it's not giving that no more. But what I will say is I say like, I take everything with sprinkles because mm -hmm. there is a part of my family household that I want when I create my own family. I do want to, I want to be a woman that is very 
then, yeah. Yeah. I right. do want to be cooking. But that's yeah. because that's what I agree with you that. want. It's yeah. not that society has pressured you to do that. That's just something, like, let me tell y'all something. I don't know. Women care the backbone in the household, household Ooh, I don't know, because I'll be forgetting how old I, I, I am. I've been like a household yeah, and yeah, I run properly with I for four one. years. When I tell you, every time Kiki cooks, it's because she loves it. Yeah, yeah She's cooking for her friends. It. She's not like, oh, girl, let me get in the, up in the kitchen because this man want this and that. It's always like... It's not for that. I do just, it because I love it. Right, and sometimes right. people will say things like, oh, I know you got all the men. Y'all think I'm slaving in these kitchens for these ungrateful men? I'm telling you. I don't mind cooking for a man. I don't mind doing those things. Cleaning, no. But the cooking, <laughs> absolutely. Mm -hmm. But I'm not just gonna do it because that's what you want. I wanna do it and I like doing it because it's how I show other right. people that I that's appreciate them mm -hmm. and care about them. And you know, it's a stress reliever for me. That's it. Right. It's a thin It's something you enjoy. Because there are moments where I am like, now that I have a boyfriend, there are things that like I do just want to do for him that I don't even really be doing for myself. But that's because that's you, that's that's what you, you love, love yeah. somebody. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. Love you. We Baby, because the way you was going on him and looking in his eyes. But it's like, it's how like you show bitch. appreciation for somebody or that you care for somebody or any other words you want to plug in instead of that. Mm -hmm. yeah, you do show do love in different are, ways. Because I know that man love her. You can she tell. Love her real bad. They real did cute. I, did I tell the story about the first time I met him? No. I don't, I, I don't think I have told. Let me tell this story on the show, y'all. <laughs> so I. Of course, y'all know I am Cocktails number one fan. I be, I'm that groupie. So I went to the DC show. So me and uh, your friend Raven, we sitting mm -hmm. at the table. You know, we ordering drinks, we drinking. At this point, I'm feeling good. So this man sits next to the table. I said, bitch, you fine, girl. You fine. <laughs> oh, you did tell me this story. Yeah, I said, oh, really? I said, hey, go find this nigga here tonight. I'm about to leave him. Bitch, I'm leaving with something. <laughs> I'm leaving with something. <laughs> hey, baby, he was. <laughs> He was, I was like, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. He was like, my bad. Like, damn, <laughs> bitch, fool. I said, boy, this nigga is not trying to get up the gun. Next thing y'all know, Manita came out on stage, she like this. <laughs> that boy's good. I said, hold on, wait a minute. He fast forward in the back of the stage. I walk back stage, he's, baby, that's her man, her man, her man. Period, as it should be, though. Like. <laughs> That's the only type I mean, of relationship I want to be in. I yes. only want to be with a nigga who is obsessed with me. Yes. No, he's yes. obsessed with me. He is you don't even see nigga. nobody. He did not see me in these titties, bitch. <laughs> Good. That's how it's supposed to be. Exactly. You better not be looking at them hoes. Better not. I mean, I, and, and like I said, it was innocent because I didn't know. And I was obviously, obviously joking because I don't hit on people. But I was like, that's a good man, Savannah, and I love him down. I'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna say his name. Ooh, his little Ooh. ratchet name. I'm gonna say his name. Being with a nigga and you are and like one of your friends is like he was trying to talk to me. Right. Like, and I have so like men like that where it's like someone's like he was he was looking at everybody's booty. Mm -hmm. he was, no. He was trying to get numbers and it's like damn. Uh, I done had to break that news to a few of my friends yeah. before. It's bad. And that shit be weird because it's, it's weird. like you Especially almost don't want to tell them love. either because you, you don't be want them. Yeah, because people be misdirecting their anger and mm -hmm. their energy. It's like girl, I'm well, coming to tell you. Talk to them. Right. Not help that this ass is fat. And these titties is supple, bitch. Right. What you want me to do? Bitch, not it? supple. Supple. I love that word. I do too. It just sounds sexy. It do. Supple titties. I a wig. Okay, so <laughs> y'all know we have added the segment back of item of the week. These are items that we like to use. Well, before we get into item okay, of the week, okay, I wanted to talk about like some of our favorite black Christmas movies. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Because I have a few, so what's one of yours, Lick? Okay, so which one is it? Is it Friday After Next? That's a Christmas oh, movie. Oh, yeah, Friday, Friday After Well, yes. it's crazy, because I was having a debate with somebody about that. I don't really think it's Friday a Christmas, after Christmas, 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 Christmas movie. movie. I personally didn't like it, but it you is a did? Christmas movie. I didn't. Good. Wow. I stopped at Next what? Friday with the likes. <gasps> Friday <gasps> After Next was so Friday much after, funnier oh, than Next Friday. Friday after amazing. They Friday are. After Friday. Next. 10 out of 10. And I'm sorry, honorable mention. Let me tell y'all, this movie, I sat in the club. They had it playing on the screens, and I was in the club watching the movie with my best friend. What? Like, this Christmas. Oh, I love this. That's why I love Chris Brown. I love that movie. 
that movie. Do y'all know I've never Sorry. seen this Christmas movie? <gasps> no, for real? Classic. I feel it's like good. it's always a movie I ain't never seen. I don't really be doing a lot of movies. I'm doing, like, uh, shows. You know? okay, 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 okay. Well, does this count as a Christmas movie? And to me, it always will. What? The Temptations. It, remember, there was a part <laughs> when they were singing the Christmas songs and no. they were struggling during Christmas <laughs> and singing. Boy, hell no. No. A bit soft it's a now. black movie. A little bit soft. Yeah. Now. You remember? Mm. A little bit soft. That's what we should have sung. Well, that song. is a Christmas movie, and no. I love watching it around Christmas, and that is my Christmas movie. Let me say this. Yeah. I said before the show, I said, Medine, we're going to talk about our favorite black Christmas movie. She do said, you know okay. Her? She said, I'm going to do Baby Boy. <laughs> baby Boy? Baby Boy. Oh, no, Daddy Boy. You know how Medina made her face with Baby Boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Baby boy was about nothing about giving. It, it was, was just about taking. taking. And it was taking. about broke niggas. Yes. And that's why I've struggled in my relationship. Because like, you kept watching Baby Boy. Because I kept watching Baby Boy and I know every baby word. Baby Boy was you a wild never movie. Even now that's a black wild. classic. It's a black classic, but it's For not a sure, Christmas movie. For sure, but it's not a Christmas movie. My favorite Christmas movie is The Preacher's Wife. Oh. I that was a good Christmas movie, too. I don't think I've ever watched it in its entirety. Oh, really? I need to watch it. It's on the plane, it's really I'm sure. Good, it's probably. Christmas time. I, it's probably on Netflix. And I think it is. It is on the plane, on Ooh, Delta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like but yeah, I was going to say this Christmas. I love that movie. Well, let me say this. I watched a new Christmas movie what? on Netflix. It's called Noel's Diary. Mm-hmm. It's a Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. A black one? It has a black girl in it. Okay. <laughs> um, but as long as we being represented. It was okay, but the thing that made me mad is was she was cheating on her boyfriend the whole movie, and it was supposed to be like... Oh, well, her fiance, because she mm. fell in love with somebody else. Mm. But he was like an author. He had money. You know she was going to go. And he was white. Mm-hmm. And he was white. But her fiance was like Hispanic. But mm. she was black. Uh, her mom was played by, um, what's the girl's name? Essence from Half and Half. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember her? Mm-hmm. Essence Atkins. That's her name. Mm-hmm. So um, it was a good movie, but I didn't like the fact that they made her a cheater. Damn. Well, they just what? be cheating. Oh. And I do. I mean, I, mean, I do, do, too. This is the first time I ain't cheated on nobody. And he made really? me careful because... This is the first time you've been faithful? This is the very first... I cheat on everyone. I love that for you. No, the grow. Like, I'm like, tip-toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Be lucky, because these niggas be fine. I am Baby. free. We be outside. Okay, so we're going to get back to item of the week. Yes. Mm. Um, so we always talk about items that we're actually using. This is, you know what I'm saying? Not sponsored and shit. So this is stuff we really, really actually use. So Drea has the item of the week this I week. I do. I have item of the week this week. So y'all know I'm like a makeup girl. I mean, I, I feel like skincare is important too. Like your skin needs to be on point underneath your makeup. But I love makeup. So I don't really like full coverage foundation. Okay. Mm-hmm. These days, I feel like I used to, but now I like something that's a little more lightweight and sheer. And y'all, when I say I love this Forever Skin Glow foundation from Dior, it's so, yes. You have it too? I have oh, it. I have it's it. so good. Well, skin there skin was a though. moment where I was so stuck on, they used to have a different shape for the bottle. Oh, see, I just found out I, about and it. And I love even the smell of it. It has yes. a very beautiful smell. What does it smell like? I, I, I love. Love. It just has a nice scent. It doesn't yes. smell like sand or yes. something. Some of the oh, now, hold on now. Like, y'all said Dior. Let's talk yeah. about the price point. How much is it? Okay, I want to say. I mean, I got it like a few months ago. I want to say it was probably like fifty five dollars. That's what I thought. Forty, two forty. Yeah, it has heavy. I love it. And they have it at they have it at Sephora. Of course, you can get it from the department stores. Like you can get it from Saks and stuff. But y'all, I and it's not about the name brand. Like it's a really really good foundation, mm-hmm. especially for like everyday wear. Okay, if so you're this trying is to, your color five N. Yes, and you have it on. Right now. Okay, it looks good. Thank y'all. I have it on right now. Yes, I love it. I used to be an NC50 girl with MAC, and I used to wear NARS and Macau, I think. Mm -hmm. But this top all day. It's top all day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to try it because I don't wear foundation. Mm -hmm. I don't. I do a powder, but I don't like liquid because I feel like it tends to get cakey. Mm -hmm. Um, Because I don't like coverage on my face. I am a skincare girl. I'm not a makeup girl. It looks like you have coverage on your face. Face. I don't. It depends on the day. Like some days I'll wear foundation, some days I'll just do a powder. But mm-hmm. when I want something that's a little more coverage, yeah, but yeah. not too too mm-hmm. heavy, I love that. So does this go in the birthday makeup or no? Do it go what? <laughs> does this count as birthday makeup or no? No. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I, I don't like 
the, the liquid foundations, it just don't work. I just do a powder. Now, I do mm -hmm. the full coverage concealer. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I want to be I do that, and I just blend it with some powder, and I call it a day. I also have mm -hmm. the Dior Spray Foundation. I have and that that's one. another and great one. Is it good? Oh, my God. It just is airy and light. It's an okay. airbrush one. Y'all got money, bitch. Yeah. Uh, it's not that expensive. Because I'm still on my mix, honey. Oh, wow. Oh, I ain't used mix in a while. Mm-mm. <laughs> I see what I see clear. Yeah. Because for concealer, I use like Tarte. I use Makeup Forever. I want to use setting spray. I still use the NYX setting spray. All the NYX setting spray. I mix it with the Charlotte, I'll use the Charlotte Tilbury. I love Airbrush. The Fawcett spray. I use their fixing spray and then I use the setting spray. Because y'all know fixing spray and setting spray is different. It's expensive to be a woman. That's what I'm saying. It is. It really is. And then it's just got to wake up and get a haircut. Ooh. Every time but sometimes I got that don't be helping their ass. It don't. But sometimes it no, but it's sometimes they help a lot. That taper right now. It be so up. crispy. Ooh. Brush it down. I love a crisp lineup. I know that's hard. I do. Mm -hmm. I kinda like the messy hair look. I, I like just, you guys grow it out a little bit. Like, like a bun? Like a man <laughs> bun? No, I did. That ain't messy, that's wrong. I do like that. I do like that. No, I mean, they be having buns. They be having a braids, and then they be having a little bun. But that's, that's not messy. messy. That's, I, not messy. I don't, that's not messy. That's not messy. Like, a messy bun is like, what's that man's name? Um... Jason Momoa? Yes, that's yeah, what that I'm talking about. That nigga is fine. He is. Now, he is fine. fine. I'll yeah, cross I over to the other that. side. But other than that, mm -hmm. if you cross over to the other side, what Dr. Umar say? A thousand lashes. <laughs> <laughs> you may not bring your white lashes. Dr. Umar, you may not bring your white lashes. That nigga is crazy. Okay. <laughs> so now we go get, get into, into the bed. Hey. The bed. Bow. The bed. Bow, 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 bow. bow, bow. Okay. 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 So for the bed topic today, of course, we want to keep with the Christmas theme okay. and, our, and our ho ho hoes. <laughs> I want to talk about snowballing. Mm. So is snowballing too freaky or is it a violation? Now, if you don't know what snowballing As is. I don't. Girl, well, you going to be. You like, going to know what it is. Oh, you're going to get a Christmas surprise today, honey. <laughs> snowballing is whenever you give a man head. He nuts in your mouth, mm -hmm. and you go up and you kiss him. And put it in his mouth. And put it in his mouth. Ooh. So it's making a little like snowball. It. Or if you're having a threesome, you would just do it with the other girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. And go back and forth. So now, just... see, Kiki a little advanced, because I didn't have to explain it to her. She said, oh, snowball. I, I mean, I, I was familiar. Oh, we swapped. You snowball. Okay, so first of all, I course, say all it. Who has snowballed here before? Okay. Now, is it still a snowball? <laughs> like, I don't recall. I don't recall. Is it still a snowball if he nuts? And it's on your stomach, and then he takes his finger and goes like this. I think and that might you... be a snowflake. Okay. Yes. That, that might be a snowflake. Well, I've done a little snow activity. Okay. And I think it's real you sexy. You went a little sled. Because he want to taste his own babies. And your babies, baby. What's up? Look at that. And not Junior getting eight. Man. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I have never <laughs> with, been with a man. I mean, it's yours. It's going to your mouth. It's, it's not going to make the ball because there's no passing. Um, I yeah. we, so that's I why it's a snow play. storm. It's a little snow storm. It's, 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 it's snow activity. It's a little Absolutely. sleet. That's what I'm saying. She, she was sledding, bitch. I like I like nasty stuff like that. So it's like if if he if it were to happen, I'd be okay with it. Yeah. So it's freaky, not a violation. It's not a violation. Is it freaky violation. or a violation for you, Jerry? I think it's just freaky. Yeah. I think it's just it's freaky. freaky for you, baby. I don't feel like it's a violation. I mean, because why? Cause you don't want some more nut. You don't I want a variety. Like he I don't want know. a variety. I don't I feel don't like that's any fish. different as with the, as a woman. You know what I mean? You know you know what your coochie tastes like. It do. Everybody. Everybody know what they coochie tastes like. If you don't, you, know you should try it. You Please should try it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't understand how that's any different. It's I'm just a man. I just said, for me personally, I, it's, like not, it. it's not gonna turn me on by spitting my man's nut in his mouth. I am my man, not my man. Yeah. This, I'm this nigga's best eater. It's all for me. You not his best eater because you won't spit it in his mouth. I feel like it just <laughs> unlocks another a new level. When niggas, when a somebody, nastiness. yeah, it's like, okay, Baby, you next wanna, round. You want to love next? Mario Kart? I'm not trying to be on bed. <laughs> I, I am. Doing shit with niggas that he might be afraid to tell people he did. Ooh, I like that. Cause I feel like, like that. Mm -hmm. but see, we got a secret. 
right, we locked me. We locked me. I had that thumb and that booty yeah. all day. You sucked it. Mm-hmm. Little dude, Remember get I out. Remember I spit that little in your mouth this time? Mm-hmm. Now you done stuck your finger in the booty hole and he... Mm-hmm. Now that's freaky. Oh, no. That's nasty. She said, oh, no. He did what? Wait, what? She put, he put the thumb in his booty hole. She put her thumb in his booty went. hole and then she put her thumb oh. in his mouth. Oh, that ain't. It's a little. I haven't tried y'all that so one. Nasty. And this is, these long nails are new for me and they're not normally What's long. the difference between mm-hmm. that and like, you know, you be eating my ass. Now you just eating your <laughs> ass. No. <laughs> And kisses you after he eats yeah, your yeah. Yeah. Same thing. I mean, it is, but I'm Why we gotta take all the fecal matter? Nigga, get some. Wait, I'm not taking no fecal matter. It's a little fecal in it's that matter. Not- Medina, Medina, please. I say this you all the time. It, 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 it is. It is. It is. It is. If you're watching on the- your booty straight out the shower, there's nothing down there. Your body's there. still going to be digesting. If there's invisible Thank spiders you. that come into our mouths when we're sleeping, there's definitely a little dingle in there. You didn't it, wash it with bleach. I'm sorry. It done been right there. You oh, ain't no. even realize it. Not happening. Mm-hmm. You can keep saying that. You know, you ain't got to be well, I mean, because if it was there, you would taste it. No. no. But the bacteria is still there. It might not be like a whole, like, <laughs> you do the mouth. You, you, <laughs> you got to do the mouth. But you all right. I don't got to do the nail, bitch. <laughs> it's Lex P and a P is for poo poo. Little booty. Lex Pooty in this bitch. <laughs> it's your girl. That Pootie Tang is okay for what he does. Yeah. You don't know who Pootie Tang oh, is. I don't. She probably not heard the story. Pootie Tang is a character Pootie on the Tang. show that I had to stop dealing with him because he used to ask me to fart in his mouth. <gasps> what? So, he took the fart. It's not like he farted in your mouth. Gosh, not me. She can't even finish him. She said, I fart to a dead face. Medina said she got one in the chamber. She already <laughs> saw <laughs> She said, he's the farty, not the fart turn. <laughs> So it's okay. Right. No. Yeah. yeah. No, I just you don't think have to receive. during sexual matters, if the nastiest shit is okay, it's okay. This is like the time, the one time out of the day that you get to just say what you want and let's do it. Well, I, I don't want nobody pooping on me though. It. Okay. But mm-hmm. it don't mean we can do it. But you can tell me it's a safe space. Yeah. And maybe I'll say yes, maybe I'll say no. I'll probably say yes. I'll probably I'm say yes. Not to the poop in the mouth. I'm not taking a poop in my mouth. <laughs> But if you want me to poop in yours, I will. I was probably gassy anyway. Y'all saw it as nasty. Nah, I'm probably gassy. <laughs> <laughs> Gumbo I like and catfish. Living I'm the way. Like, I'm Who's sorry. Thing? I realized, like I said, mm-hmm. I didn't realize how much of, like, vanilla I am when it comes to sex until, like, I met y'all for real. I was like, I wow. still feel like I'm a little vanilla. I don't not think I there's think nothing I'm a vanilla. Star, it's giving vanilla. me a Neapolitan ice cream, bitch. <laughs> I'm not vanilla. I don't do that not even right. Rocky Road. Like oh, no. Medina is definitely cookies and cream, Rocky Road, double fudge, chocolate. Yeah. Cake. Yeah. But you know what's crazy, Medina? I used to follow this guy on Twitter. Raina, it was like, I used to just like his tweets. He was funny. And I didn't even know he listened to podcasts. Then one random morning he tweets, he's like, man, I love that freaky ass bitch Medina. She loves anal. Ooh. I said, <laughs> your face. Whenever other people point out, I'm always like, oh, so my you goodness. have a lady. <laughs> so you do like anal. I love it. Okay. She talks about all the I love time. it. I, I think that anal is something that more women, black women specifically, okay. should explore because it unlocks, again, next level. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it hurts, but like mm-hmm. once you get it in and squish it around a little bit, squish. it feels so, it's like, it's euphoric. Mm-hmm. It feels amazing. It's okay. like once you get through that pain, it's like going through a struggle. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. <laughs> when will I get the money to eat the and, and then it's like you get in there. You get that check. And it's squishy and it's moist and it's good. And you can nut in it and it's not gonna get you pregnant. Mm, that's okay, so that's how, a valid point. You feel me? I do. How do you prepare for anal poly? I don't prepare. Don't you gotta clean, you gotta clean it out. You don't know what you She don't do nothing. See, that's why I I'm not prepared. You, you had me in the first round, bitch. What if you just went to a Mexican rice restaurant and he was eating queso? Well, she told the story on cocktails, bitch, and we not repeating it. That's why Please that don't. shit went viral. Well, she, she did, she did. And so it's like, I don't prepare. I'm just, I'm ready for anything. Okay, mm. so do you have to stretch your booty hole out though? Like, I'm not like stretching that? no booty holes out. I like the pain okay. of it. So it's like, y'all gotta just experience it. No, thank you. You have not convinced me. You are not the anal spokesperson, baby. Have you, you ever had a, I'm intrigued. Have you ever had a colonic? I have. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, that yeah. was so uncomfortable. I liked it. <gasps> Not you moaning. Mm. <laughs> but it's like you sit on the thing, they spray the warm water into your rectum. It's washing away all of the. So that's what you're supposed to do before you do and it. And you can watch it. You watch it. And so it's like, I like that. It's my stomach bubble. That's why I said Medina is too far, because why are you watching the shit go down the tunnel? Yeah, I don't really want to watch, watch my it. dookie come out. I do. You want to watch it, it when I get the closet. I wanted to know if I had, like, buttons in there or something. You know how they my tell you that you, you, know, tell you, you have all kind of stuff in your body from, like, years and years and years Ooh, that you don't yeah. digest? Yeah. I wanted to see if well, I was a bad kid. My told me colonics aren't that great. I, that's what I've heard, You can't do it all the time. Like, I say, like, once a year. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't make it happen. That's what she told me. I but yeah, when y'all took me to buy butt plugs. Oh yeah, I and love me a booty plug. To get that butt plug in there, that did not work. This in the trash. You didn't like the butt plug? No. She told us that. She said she didn't like you. First of all, I couldn't get it in there right. You got to look at it. Did you lube it up? Real tight. Okay. Did you lube it up? What did he say? Yes. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> and took under. My booty was up. Oh, no man. I don't know who you been. Did you bend over and put it in, or was I you just over, like? I laid on my side. Oh. I called you for help. You did. I said, Fuck this. I'm not no, doing see, this. I think maybe try it again. But no, you gotta stand up. Yeah. Stand up. Stand up and put it in. I put. I bend over and put mine <laughs> I, I in. Like, I said, you know how like you change the baby diaper. That's how I like. Yes, it feel good, especially the vibrating ones when you get in here from the bed. And you could control like the vibration. Little, I've, I've never used the vibrating one, but I feel like the pressure feels good. So it's just a little, a little bit. You I don't think I'm gonna take a little edible. So I gotta get drugged so, up to do it. Let me ask you this, now. then we're gonna move on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is it true that you have to have sex with somebody with a small penis to try anal? No. So you I'm can s- do it with the big, the big ones. Yeah. Okay. You can do it with a big dick baller. Mm-mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, look, now you're talking our language. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma try it and I'ma report back. Tell us how it is. Y'all let me know. Mm-mm, Mm-mm, I'm not know. trying. <laughs> Maybe I will one day. That's Gosh. the last look, that's my last little hole like that's I got. That's the last y'all. thing I can hold on to, right? <laughs> we gotta be last. locked in. <laughs> For real. Okay, so now we gonna get into, into the bow. Hey. The bow. Bow. The bow. 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 Bow, bow. Before we start, do y'all need some? Y'all need some more to drink? I mean, I would like a. Oh, <laughs> y'all was no. empty on that. Side. Okay, then pass, look, pass me the cup. That ain't gonna help us out. Is in here? Cause you are empty. Thank you, Thad. Me too. Period. Do like, you want to refill no more. before we get started? I said we gotta pee. I can't have no more. Oh, uh-uh. look, I had to empty out my bladder because I knew I was getting lit. Okay, Dre, you good? <laughs> you want some more? No, I'm good. I'm okay, good. okay. Okay, so for my bop of the week this week, somebody had actually, and I hate when I forget who sends me songs because I feel like that's so rude, but my bop of the week is by Chantel May. She has a song called Waiting. And when I tell Mm. you, Baby Girl was blowing, I feel like a lot of songs, like people are just, they show their emotions, but they're not really singing. Mm -hmm. Like she was singing down, and it's such a good song. So if you like a song where you want to get in your feelings, she's basically talking about how she's just waiting for this guy Mm. to love her like she is. Listen to that tonight. Oh, so good. She's really good. I don't know <laughs> any information about her. Like I said, somebody sent this song to me and it really resonated with me. So, Chantel May waiting. Shout out to you, girl. Very good song. Yes. Yeah, so, so SZA just came out with an album and I haven't really had time to listen to the album, but mm-hmm. she has a single that's out called Shirt. Oh, yeah, and I Shirt's really, fine. really love that song. Mm-hmm. And I don't feel like either one of us have ever said that that was our bop of the week, but yeah, I really love that song. But I I'm such a SZA fan. But people ain't saying that her album, the album is just okay, but I haven't listened to it yet. You know what's crazy? She's going viral on TikTok right now from a song that she did on SNL as a joke. Have y'all seen that? Mm -hmm. The one when she was on there with Kiki Palmer? Yeah, she was like, it's big boy season or something like that. It's going viral. And it's actually a good song. I really want her to go to the studio and record it. Because it is big boy season. It is. It It is is. cold. I met a big boy at the club in Houston. Did Did you you get his number? Um, Yeah, I did. We got a date. I missed the other one because we had to record that right. video. But he about to come out here. We going on a date. He's a big boy. Or he's he was a big. big. He had titties. I don't oh, care. Oh, I love a big oh, titty. Man. And he was talking about feeding me, and that's all I needed to see. I don't have a problem with the big boys. No, me neither. I don't want no Saturday night nigga. I have, but I don't want to have babies with them. Why? Why? Because you think the babies are going to be the family. The babies going to come out big as fuck. She going to have a linebacker. Like how people be having 10-pound kids. 
Ooh. Yeah. My nephew was eight pounds when he was born. Mm. He was a big one. Okay, so Medina, what you been listening to? Does it have to be new? No. no. Okay, <laughs> well, I've been listening. Not Diana Ross dropped the song. <laughs> <laughs> Celine Dion, you know I love Celine Dion. You know I love Celine. And shout out to my sis, because she's sick right now. Um, oh, it's been a little bit of Celine, oh, but yeah. also, there is this song by Justin Bieber. <clears throat> It's called mm. Honest, and I absolutely love it. Okay. Like, I just, I love it. It's old, but mm-hmm. it's been in, re- I put it in all of my playlists so I can listen to it. And he's just talking about how he met a bitch, fell in love with her, and she just honest. I love it. Okay, I love it. We Shout out to the believers. <laughs> we are inclusive on this talk show, believe it or not. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, Kiki, what you been jamming? Honestly, y'all, since July 28th, Beyonce has had me in a chokehold. And, choke and I still got Renaissance on repeat. You do. You do. Yeah, I do. Ooh, you do. It is, it. It's a great it album. Is. Now, I will say this. I am a Beyonce stan. Mm-hmm. I love her very badly. Mm-hmm. Beyonce, where the fuck are the visuals? Where are the we visuals? We are tired. We have, we have fought for you. I can't take up for you no more. Where are the visuals? We and where are the tour dates? We got to go to work we next ready. summer. <laughs> I got to make sure our tour dates don't collab. Cause right? Because ain't nobody coming to the show <laughs> if we mix and mingling. I ain't even going to be there. Me either. Her mind's canceled that day. Oh, <laughs> okay, I, will, I will cancel in a minute. And you're not getting your money back. And not. <laughs> So, yeah, shout out to Beyonce Renaissance. It's an amazing album, it but is. sis, we need the visuals. I know. All Give we're seeing up. is Tiffany's commercials. We can't buy Tiffany's because we're trying to buy tickets exactly. to see you. Now, I'm not going to lie. Okay, let me ask y'all before we move on. What is the most you spend for a Beyonce ticket? This, that I would spend right time, now? I would spend a couple thousand. You spend a couple thousand? Like mm-hmm. two? Two? Max yeah. out at two? <sighs> Twenty five hundred after fees. Okay. One. Okay. Oh, I mean, but that's still that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of money, a lot of money for a ticket. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this. I'm not gonna lie. I would spend whatever. But if I'm spending like a thousand, twenty five hundred, I want to be comfortable. I want to sit in like an air, a suite. I already told y'all we need to get a suite when Beyonce go to yeah. Houston. We gotta get a suite. We I all need like to get a suite. Even if it's like ten bands, we can afford that with us. Two, four, six, eight. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, now it's gonna be some more people too. Not just oh, okay. us. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Niggas. Look, that's what I'm saying. So, but I feel like I want to be in a suite where I can really dance. Yeah, I want to have room. I, wanna I don't want to buy. I want to eat. It's an experience. Yeah, Beyonce I is agree. an experience. If you've ever been to a Beyonce show, it's ex- an experience. I don't want to be down at the bottom where I'm super close. Role. Mm-hmm. I don't need all that. Mm-hmm. So unless she can reach out and touch me, right? Then I would do. You know, that. she has like, to put the mic in the crowd so like to sing a little Ooh. bit. That's gonna be my moment. Dude. You know, That's a while ago mine. she did the Macy's Day Parade and they had to pre-record her performance. <laughs> my brother lived in New York at the time. Mm-hmm. He hit me up and was like, "If you can make it to New York, I can take you to the Liberty, the Liberty thing, and mm-hmm. uh, you take a little boat." And Beyonce's mm-hmm. doing a private performance for like 25 people. Oh my I god! Made it, and I, she did put the mic in the audience. I touched her hand, and it was just. Crazy. I told her I was. Now, like, what year was this? This was years ago. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. That's amazing. I would have to Google. Well, I knew it was a while back when you said Macy's parade because she don't show up nowhere. Yeah. And, I'm not being and it was still do. pre-recorded. They just made it seem like it was not. Not. It was like it was live. Yeah. And I, she gave me her she, hand. I, give me your hand. And I held her hand. I was like, You have been through so much, honey. And I'm from Texas, and I love you so much. And I love you so much. And she was like, Bitch, give me my. I was like, I'm from Texas. And I'm from Texas. And it was like. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, I, have, I don't have many fan moments. I don't fan out about anybody. When I saw Rihanna, she had came into the club when I was working at the club. And I literally, you never know what you're going to be in the moment. Because you'd be like, I, at this point, I have met everybody. Mm-hmm. I have literally, you name them, I have met them. Mm-hmm. When Rihanna walked into the club, y'all, I froze. Literally. I, I was like, they were like, go ask her what she wants. And I was like... I can't. I didn't. I, ain't I walked over to her section. <laughs> I was just, like passing out the waters, and I was like, "That's crazy how someone <laughs> I, can make you feel." Like no, I have never man. felt like that in my life. When ever. I was in the section, when I was in the club, and Beyonce was in the section across from me, I was definitely sneaking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and I still got some holes in my phone. I, I was like, "Yeah, we all saw that." <laughs> We did, but you know, this was like 2014, so they gone now. Yeah, I deleted it. This was great. Thing. 
Okay, so now we're about to get into our favorite segment, Pour Your Heart Out. So y'all know we love whenever y'all write us. We give y'all great advice. Sometimes it's bad. So whatever you want to do, just write us, and we're going to try to help you the best we can. If you're a Patreon member, make sure you put in the subject line that you're a Patreon member. Now, we also have a line, a number that you can call. This is not for advice. This is just so you can express yourself, you know, whatever you want to say to me or Drea or the both of us and get things off of your chest but please keep it short and sweet 30 seconds 45 seconds real quick the number is going to be at the bottom but if you need advice make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com and y'all know um we get them in on the mail okay period so pass this down you know what kiki i'm gonna let you read mine I'll today pass it to okay you can read mine too, yeah we don't let we never let the guests read Pour your heart period out. i might not Ooh. say one is okay okay all right. Uh, oh, wait. This one says number two, so you go first. Okay. So, pour your heart out. I'm glad I got my nails done today. <laughs> um, okay, so this one says, hey, Lex and Drea, please keep me anonymous. Um, my boyfriend of almost two years blocked my phone number and unfollowed me off social media out of nowhere in bold caps lock. Mm -hmm. For the past couple of months, things have been off. It was starting to feel like he was forcing himself to be with me. I would always ask him what was wrong, and he would always say, everything is good. <laughs> everything was normal. Recently, he was in one of his moods again, so I asked, what's wrong? Because I was genuinely, genuinely concerned. Again, he said, I'm good. So I decided to back off and give him space. Ooh. After a few days of space, I decided to uh, reach out to check in to find out uh, why he blocked my phone number and unfollowed me on social media without a word in bold. Throughout the relationship, he would do so much, from paying for things, pertaining to my education, spoiling me, cooking for me, giving me money, showing me off to his people, mm. and always talking about our future and much more. He literally told me a few days ago he wanted to marry me. He's always had trouble with communication, as I would usually be the one willing to talk out our issues. Anytime he had a problem, I would bend and shift to make sure I was doing all I could to please him and be a good partner. I put in so much time and effort into this relationship, and I miss him, but don't know what to do. I tried to think of anything I maybe did wrong, but truthfully, I can't think of a thing. In bold, she says this whole sentence, this whole question. Do you think he needs time to cool off, or should I just consider this a breakup and clear, and clear sign that he's done with me? Thank you, ladies. Love, heartbroken. He blocked, he blocked you. you. That's a clear oh, sign. He done. Well, this is the <laughs> thing. I'm like, so did I make this bitch? <laughs> I'll say this because I feel like a lot of times, I can't speak for all women. I, I can speak for myself. We ignore the signs. Actions mm -hmm. speak louder than words. Yeah, I don't absolutely. care what your mouth is saying. I don't care if you say you want to marry me, then do it. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you say you want to be in a relationship and be with me forever, then show me. Mm -hmm. Your actions are saying everything. So if you're being standoffish and if you have something going on, it's very easy to say, hey, babe, I have this and such going on. So just give me a few days so I can figure this out. It's very easy to say that. He's not saying that and he blocked you. Mm -hmm. Just move on. And I also look, I always just want to point out, because I've, I've noticed as I get older and more established in life, when when people lead with, uh, he's taking care of me and he's paying for things. Mm -hmm. and he You're trying to make an excuse. That don't make it okay. Mm -hmm. That, But that's also not in the action of, like, he cares. Mm -hmm. If somebody has money and the means to do that, you have to remember, that's not anything for right. them. Ooh. Yeah. And I think Speaking that girl. women get so consumed. And, well, he's spending money on me. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean anything. Right. And it's a wrap. You got to let it go. You got to let it go. Insanity. I don't want to be with somebody who would block me instead of having the common decency to have a conversation with me and tell me that they're no longer interested in pursuing a relationship with me. Right. They're right. no longer interested in being with me. You just block me on social media. You block me from your phone and mm. I can't even get in contact with you. To me, that is a clear sign that it's, it's really over a slap face and, I'm not and you also not even a person if I could work it out with you I don't want to work something out with somebody who would treat me like that right. right and I even look at it like niggas that I've blocked before and That's you still coming back I don't even have no more respect for you it's yeah. now I'm just 
just gonna use you and see what else I can squeeze up out of you before you just crying every time. Well, because I'm not interested. Sometimes I block people, but it's just like, <laughs> why? I just wanna see how far you're gonna go to contact me. Now, see, that you is toxic. Email. <laughs> yeah, you wanna email? I'm not gonna lie. I Is blocked, you on the page? I somebody on everything. He contacted me on WhatsApp. I said, ooh. It's <laughs> serious. No, yeah, it's if I, block, if I block you, if I take it that far, because I don't block people. So if I take it, not people that I, people that I know. Oh, I was about to say. Oh, Cause that block trolls? Trolls. Bitch, I be blocking no, trolls all your, day. No, but I've seen you block people on your phone before. Yeah, I mean, I have in the past, but like I'm talking about now. The yeah. past four years of my life, I don't block people. Right, you don't, If you anything, don't. bitch, you gonna see what the fuck going on. Period. Niggas, girls, whoever. If ex-friends, <laughs> ex-boyfriends, <laughs> nigga girl. <laughs> girl niggas. <laughs> Y'all, you gonna see what the fuck going on. I'm not gonna block you. Like, they just take too much energy. So I don't want nobody around me or be dealing with somebody that will block me instead of having he a conversation. He also have a whole other girlfriend that it he got actually, real serious ooh, with. And he he has, has, I've had to block people on trips because you calling too much. Yeah. And like, I really yeah. like this thing, so I gotta that block was, you. That was the that first thing the that worst. I thought, that he was on a trip with somebody. You was getting on his nerves. He invited somebody else out. He has blocked you so that you're not ruining his vacation while he's relaxing with whoever Oh, you think that's what and happened? He, he probably it blocked could. you on social media, but then just unblocked you so that you're not following him, hoping that you don't notice that's a bad move. Yeah. And he just wants to do what he's doing without you bothering him. He wants mm -hmm. to cheat in peace. He wants to cheat in peace. I just think, mm -hmm. he, he wants to move on He peace. wants to move on in peace. You was working his nerves. You don't do anything. And you but, became too much of a bitch. But, but you know what? It, I'm sorry, it wasn't even that. Cause I hate, we can't say that she was getting on his nerves or, because I don't want her to blame herself. Sometimes you I just don't think not you a, should blame yourself. Yeah, because that's what we do. We be like, Sometimes I'm not good enough. You, I'm but, not a good woman. Well, no, no, no. But by me saying that, like sometimes, have y'all ever felt like this person didn't even do anything, but now their presence annoys me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's what it is. Not that you did anything, he just decided one day. This isn't what this I not, want. And he didn't have the words or he didn't choose to use the words to articulate that to you. Yeah. Which he wanted is, you to... What were you about to say, He Jaya? wanted to push you away. Yeah. What were you about to say, Jaya? A nigga blocking you is pussy. It's giving you a pussy-ass nigga. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Well... <laughs> that's all I had to say. <laughs> To me, it's never no reason why a grown ass man should block you instead of like just having a conversation with you. Cause it don't even have to be a conversation for real. It can just be like, I don't want to date you no more. I'm, like, I'm done. Blocking can be necessary way. unless somebody's harassing you and they doing that's the most. Yeah, that's where block is necessary. But other than that, like y'all be so dramatic. And it's just mean. Like, I actually had one of my friends call me recently and was telling me how this nigga that she was fucking with blocked her. And he didn't say nothing to her. And I'm just like, well, what type of shit is that? I think it's and she was weak. fucking with the nigga. As someone who just mm -hmm. got into a new relationship and I have been witnessing the women, they just beating down the walls. <laughs> Bob the Builder the over women, there. <laughs> there were certain girls that kept calling him, right? And he's mm -hmm. in a new relationship. I always say, when you're in a new relationship, you got to give people at least three months to right. get everything a grace cleared period. out. A grace mm -hmm. period. And he was like, well, I'm just going to ignore it. And I was like, don't ignore her. I've been that girl before. You're wondering so what's much, going on. Okay. Pick up the phone. Tell her you're in a relationship now. And just see how you know they do. Do that, though. A lot of times, they just be want to, like, let me that keep door crack. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well. I like a little just in case, though. I like to keep it open. You better have a little just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, question number two. Question okay, question two. number two. Hey, Lex and Drea, I love listening to Poor Minds and I can't wait for these new tour dates. I really need help. I've been with this guy since I was a senior in high school. Ooh. You listen to cocktails, you know what I'm about to say because girl, no. <laughs> so it's been five years at this point. God damn, you committed. <laughs> I'm really tired of the relationship. I've tried to break up with him so many times, but he refuses. We argue all the time and being honest, the sex isn't good anymore. We live to, I knew that. We live together, so this makes it even harder. Being honest with y'all, I've cheated maybe three or four times. Sometimes I feel bad, but other times I don't because he literally won't let me go. I feel like it's time for me to live on my own, be free, and explore my options. At this point, I just want him, I just want to tell him I've cheated so he can leave me alone. Can y'all please tell me how to get out of this relationship? Girl, leave, you can tell get out the house. You leave. need to move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just move. You need to tell him. Get your bread, get some head. Then leave. Yeah, I feel like 
Because you're living for with him. That's the name of this episode. Then leave. Then leave. But I feel like, too, with that situation, uh, let me play devil's advocate. He probably wants you that so he can split them damn bills. Yes. Because y'all are still young. Because y'all Niggas still need help, too. Girl, move out. You've been together since you So y'all are 22, 23 at this point. Yeah. babies. Mm-hmm. If it's done, it's done. And it's okay. You have got to not try to stay with somebody because you feel bad for them. Right, Put and if yourself you... first. Because let me tell you something. When he get on his feet, watch how different he is. Exactly. And you talk about you cheated three or four times. That nigga that cheated. And mm-hmm. especially, too, just because you so young. Like, when people write us and they be like, oh, I'm 22, I'm 23. Like, you have so much more life to live. If this shit don't work out, it is not the end all be all. You gonna find another nigga you gonna love again. Awesome. But don't make, but don't stay somewhere where you're unhappy. Because you're young and you like... And you feel like he won't let you break up. Because a leave. nigga ain't got a let me, I'm gone. Exactly. Okay. Nobody can the, let you do something. And, and with the way that he's acting, like you tried to break up, girl, he's there's crazy. there's nothing you can do but mm. leave. There's no Period. thing that you can say. You telling him you cheated, he's gonna be like, well, baby, let's work through this. Mm. I think you need to think about <laughs> why, why are you staying? Because you like it. You say I tried to break up. Obviously, she wanna split that rent too. But I'm saying, if you if you are in a situation where you need to split the bills and you don't have anywhere to go, then also you gotta play it in that favor too. Yeah. But also start planning your escape. <laughs> Not is. escape. Yeah, that's what it is. What you doing? Like you tried to break up. We break it up. It's yeah. over. There's no such thing as trying to break up unless both parties are still kind of like holding Stuck on. Stuck because you dabbling. need each other for yeah. the financial reasons. And if that's the case, I say have a adult conversation and say, look, we both need this place. Right. And what indeed, you got do? plenty of jobs. And yeah. let this be a lesson learned. I to tell bitches this all the time. Stop moving in with niggas. I don't even think I want to live with my husband. Stop what? moving in with these niggas. That's, that's Your true. Husband. And I agree, I and I'm thinking that motion. Y'all, you getting on my nerves. Yeah. Well, or at least you need to be in a space big enough, like a guest house. The room needs to be <laughs> the east garage. Wing, don't west move wing. in because you need help with bills. Right. That's, that's a recipe for yes. disaster. I agree. I'm an advocate for only moving in with somebody once you really know them. I do agree with you. Like, Two months together. into a relationship, Y'all living with each it. other. We want to live together. It's not mm-hmm. like we're doing this because it's gonna help one of us. No, right. mm-hmm. we're not doing that. I'm not doing that shit. No, no. no. Let's I'm like my building. So if you want your question answered on the show, <laughs> make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. Now y'all know, like I said, we started a new segment. I don't know what we're gonna name it yet. So y'all gotta give us some suggestions in the comments. Yeah, below. for the voicemails. Nothing has caught my eye quite yet. But um, we got our fo- first voicemail, mm-hmm. and we're going to play it for y'all today. Yeah, yes. yeah we're going to be able to hear. So, uh, Girl, because they've been sending them in. First of all, I'm supposed to say that I love you guys so much. Um, I don't care. And I'm from Houston. Okay. And so I have a couple of suggestions. Hey, I want to say Jeez. that y'all can name this the Formel. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Let's. If it doesn't sound right, I'm so sorry. But in my mind, you had said you needed to know what you should name it. That, that was the first thing. So, okay, for <laughs> now. And then second suggestion, please, if y'all go back on tour, come back home, come back to your kids, because I missed the first one, like a dummy. And I will not miss the second one. I don't know what I gotta do, or how I gotta do, or if I gotta do it, but it will be done, and y'all will be seen in Houston. I put my cousin on, and I have another cousin that would love to go with me. So please, think about it. I know that Grant is not spin, but I hope you She don't spin. Spin them all. What does that mean? Go back. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, well, shout out to Paris from Houston. First of all, we definitely going back to Houston. Yes, for sure. We have to. Yes. Like, that's home. Okay, so let us know what y'all think about poor mail. What y'all, what y'all think about poor mail? I like it. Was that poor mail? Yeah. Well, that's what she said the suggestion was to call the segment. It said a voicemail. Leave. Poor mail. Oh, poor mail. We trying to think of a name for the we segment because we can't. We don't segment. know what we want to call okay, it. Girl. Oh. Like you like poor meal? Yes. We definitely going back to Houston. I feel like the next tour, we're either going to close it out with Houston or Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Like, for sure. We got to be Houston. Like, got for sure. Be. Like, it was a good time. So, let us know what y'all working on, what y'all got coming up, where they can find y'all, all that good stuff. 
So we are kicking off a new tour at the end of January. We are going on the Dirty Little Secrets Tour. We're going to so many cities. If you go to our Instagram, it's at Cocktails Podcast. You can check it out there. We also have a card game. It's a discussion card game, and it's called I'm Curious to Know. And you can purchase that at I'mCuriousToKnow.com. There's a bunch of different questions that you can ask while you're on a date, girls' night, game night, Before whatever. Before sex. That's mm-hmm. how I got my boyfriend. I know that's right. Or why. to I start having sex. Too. And you know, I'm playing. It's, it's a good time. You never know where it might lead you. Mm-hmm. I was literally on top of him. And I was like, you want to play a game? And he was like, bitch, what? And I was like, pulled out the deck. <laughs> we got a little period blood on it because I was on my period. And what then, you going to leave some take it shit. Shit. She going to leave some residue. 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 And then also, you guys, I have a cookbook. I would love for you to purchase it so I can stop seeing struggle plates around the holidays. <laughs> and when you're cooking for Bay, it's um, Classy Base. It's K L A S S Y B A S T E. And you can purchase it at classybased.com. And also join my book club. And the recipes are good because I have The food is well, good. Did you, did you study the mac and cheese recipe? <laughs> First of all. We didn't talk about that from the green screen night. Yo, this is why I really thought I we needed to be a man some mac and cheese. And I was to to me. I it was a brick. And it wasn't good, but I know you how to did. make macaroni and cheese. I know how to make collard greens, and I know how to make dressing. Okay, so you're gonna make. We're gonna have to give you what to me. Yes, I'll do yeah. it again. Okay. We're gonna have to do a new test we got, Yeah, I'll, I'll use the classy based recipe just <laughs> to make sure I'm good. But also, if you guys um, want to travel, I host a travel retreat. Go to paradiseandvibe.com. We are going to South Africa. By the time this comes out, we're already leaving, and it's sold out. Mm-hmm. Thank God. But next year, we're going to Bali and we're going to Tulum. So if you want to book a trip, your friends are broke. They can't come with you. You're like, dang, <laughs> you said we were going to travel together. <laughs> and, and then no one bought their tickets. No one booked hotels. You can come by yourself. Still have a great time. Bring your babe. Bring your friends. If it's your birthday, come turn up with me. And a couple different yoga wellness um, influencers. Go to paradiseandvibe.com. I would love to meet and greet and have a good time. Turn up. Period. And shout out to Cocktails. Thank y'all so much. The first guest with the new set, but uh, we not done. Y'all know what it's time for. It's time for a little bit of karaoke. Period. (laughs) Don't want a life for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents <gasps> underneath the Christmas yeah. tree. I just want you for my own, yeah. more than you could ever know. Yeah. Make my wish come true. Ooh. All I want <laughs> for Christmas. Touch you, touch you. <laughs> Bye.